Hello everybody, welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we are discussing analog electronics in it, negative feedback amplifiers and uh, uh, we, as we have already discussed uh, the few parts of uh, negative feedback amplifier, I have put that on uh, and we have derived these parts. We have also derived this part that is AF equal to A upon 1 plus A beta. Now, uh, we will deal with the uh, effect of negative feedback, voltage series negative feedback uh, over the input impedance with feedback and output impedance with feedback that is ZIF and ZOF. Okay, let's start. Okay, as I have already uh, drawn the diagram, what it is is uh, uh, I have drawn the inner diagram for A of A in this. So, A the forward amplifier, the forward amplification is broken down into ZI, II and VI is the voltage available across uh, this uh, ZI input impedance and uh, amplification is A, A into VI and Z0 is the output impedance and V0 is the voltage available at the output that is fed back to V0 to give VF and so we are getting again the equation third that is VI equal to VS minus VF. Okay, uh, so we have to deal with input and output impedance. First we will deal with ZIF. Now what is input impedance with feedback? So I will draw the diagram uh, of this that is it will be like this. This is ZIF. Now what is ZIF is what is the how to uh, means understand what is input impedance with feedback. It is easy that is whatever by Ohm's law will uh, derive. That is whatever amount of voltage we are applying over these two nodes, let it be these two nodes, let this be Vs and what is the amount of current that we are getting as II. So it is simple, quite simple that is ZIF equal to Vs upon II. This is the thing that has to be derived. Now mathematically we will see that either uh, ZIF will increase or decrease with respect to the available ZI that is uh, open loop input impedance. So, we will start the derivation with ZIF equal to Vs upon II. Now, uh, Vi will start with Vi that is II into ZI where Vi is this Vi equal to I into ZI. I have put it as equation number 5 II into ZI. Uh, uh, so, it can be written as Vi equal to now II into ZI. So, VI upon II equal to ZI, uh, VI can be written as uh, from equation number 3 that is uh, VS minus uh, VF upon II equal to ZI and that can be written as VS upon II minus VF upon II equal to ZI and uh, thus it can be written as Vs upon II that is what is required equal to Zi plus Vf upon II. Now Vf can be written as, I will write it here that is Vs upon II is equal to Zi plus Vf can be written as beta V0 upon II and ultimately it leads us to V0 can be written as A into VI, it is beta into A into VI upon II and thus Vs upon II can be written as ZI plus A beta, VI upon I is already been written as ZI, so ZI, so this yields us ZI 1 plus A beta that is nothing but ZIF. So, ZIF can be written, I will write it here, that is 6, that is what is uh, been uh, derived from this equation is ZIF equal to ZI into 1 plus A beta. Thus, we can say that the input impedance with feedback in voltage series uh, negative feedback amplifier, it increases. ZIF is ZI into a factor then and that factor is obviously greater than 1 unity that is uh, it will help to reduce the loading effect 
it's a good thing. So Z i f equal to Z i into 1 plus a beta. This is it. Now uh, we'll start with the uh, output impedance. What is the effect of output impedance? What is the effect on output impedance? Okay. Thank you. Consider subscribing. We'll deal with this in uh, next part of this video.